Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mark Janelle Jr. And if you're new here, I do cyber related videos. Please feel free to relax and enjoy the content. Please like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you are alerted when I upload new videos. What we're gonna be doing today is we will simulate a spear fishing campaign since we did a general uh, fishing campaign in the last video. So just to give you an overview, a spear phishing attack is the fraudulent practice of sending emails portraying to be a known or trusted sender in order to induce uh, targeted individuals to reveal confidential information. So right now what you are seeing, we're showing the target underscore info dot text content. We're going to be using this later on. So this is the target underscore info dot text content and it contains the personal data about the victim, right? This will be used to conduct the spear phishing attack, right? Which is specifically crafted to trick a specific victim. So we're gonna be using these these uh, personal data credentials later on in the video. Remember, target underscore info dot text. Remember that, please. So what's happening now is we're finding Spotify, which is a non-free Swedish audio streaming and media service provider founded in April 23rd of 2006 by Daniel E. and Martin L. Now, the reason why we're doing this is we're gonna clone this. We're trying, we're going to, we're going to mimic this login page, right? Into our malicious, uh, nefarious activity. So right now we're using HTT track, uh, and HTT track is a free, uh, library, if you will. Uh, it's a free software. It is, it is an, uh, easy to use offline browser utility. So it allows you to download a worldwide website. Uh, from the internet to a local directory, building recursively all directories, right? Getting HTML images and other files from the server to your computer, right? So we're using HTT track to copy uh, the Spotify login page because it will serve as the phishing site. All right. So, so let's test, let's test. We're testing, testing, testing. So what you are about to see uh, after we finish testing, we are going to be navigating to Fishmailer, the, the Fishmailer folder using Fishmailer to create the Spotify phishing email. A domain na uh, name server, DNS, is the internet's equivalent to a phone book. A, a domain name server maintains uh, a directory of uh, domain names and their matching IP addresses, right? This information allows other computers to know where to go to find your website. So right now we are uh, doing the, the we're, 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 create, we're about to create the Spotify phishing email, right? We're in the midst of that. And we are about to be finished with that. So now we are going to be renaming the login.html.html to login.html because it doesn't need two extensions. That's what we're doing right now. So as soon as we're done doing that, we are going to be testing the login.html page locally, right? To see if the phishing email was, crea was created correctly. You will see it very shortly, as can be seen, the link in the HTML points to our phishing web server. Boom, right there. So that's essentially what the uh, victim is going to see. Now, I just want to make it clear that all of this that we've been doing, if it hasn't been obvious, is from the perspective of the attacker. We're the ones crafting this email. We're the ones making sure that our Spotify uh, matches up and measures up and make sure that it, it's, it's, it's identical to the real thing. So everything that you're seeing here is from the uh, perspective of the attacker. Shortly, we're going to be looking at things from the perspective of the victim. For example, we're the ones who don't know anything. We have a Spotify account and we went on our email and we saw a Spotify email. And we clicked on it, entered our credentials. Right, we're gonna be going through a victim perspective portion uh, very soon. So now we're crafting the email. This is one, this is the last step of uh, creating the spear phishing campaign. 
So we have successfully sent the phishing, uh, the spear phishing email. So now we are seeing things from the perspective of the victim. So right now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be starting Firefox and logging into Proton Mail, which is basically just like a Gmail or a regular mail site. And we're going to show the phishing email. The attacker can now see the input of password slash email combination because the victim tries to log into his phishing site, not Spotify.com. Oh boy, that was the spear phishing uh, email. That was, that was intense. That was intense. Wow. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button right below the video and subscribe by clicking the big red button right below the video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then you will probably enjoy this video on th these videos on the screen. So if you click on the screen right now, you can watch that. Do you have a cyber attack you want me to cover? Write it in the comment section below. Also, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I upload new videos. Lastly, please feel free to watch other videos on this channel. Stay safe. Hack that. Please feel free to watch, like, and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.